guys, this is Hey Ryan Wolf, and we're here with a new uh, LP, and this is a very old game, it's one of my absolute favorites, uh, it is Crash Bandicoot, as you can see there by the trademark, and I decided to do this one because I just love this game so much, it's made by Naughty Dog, uh, just like Jack and Daxter, and uh, Drake's Fortune, or whatever that game is, Uncharted, that's it, uh, so yeah. Uh, so, I'm just gonna edit the options here, so, um, uh, okay, so, yeah, those are actually all good. Um, so, yeah, we're going to 100% this, and so, let's start the game and watch a, uh, cutscene. What? No? No cutscene? Oh, yeah, that's right, the cutscene is in the title screen. So, yeah, uh, you're on this island, and I'm trying to remember, there we go. Circle, allow, circle and square allow to move. Uh, the third person type view, and there are three islands in this entire world, each with uh, levels on it. Over there's island number two, and that's island number three. And so, uh, the first island has nine levels on it, and so the first level is Insanity Beach, which is just awesome. So, Crash gets washed up on the ocean, and you're going to save the world, basically. So, uh, the directional buttons move, X allows you to jump, square and the circle both spin, triangle allows you to see your fruit and your lives. There's no other buttons. That's the only thing. So, question mark buttons, that one, uh, there's the boxes, and then these stripe ones, you just jump up. And then they work. So there are uh, gems that come with every level. And in order to get the gem, it's one of the hardest things to do. You have to go through the level, collect every box, and don't die. And that mask there is an Aku Aku. It basically allows you to get hit at least once before you die. So. And be careful not to fall down the pits. And those up buttons, or up boxes, you can jump on them, but they will never break. The only way to break them is to spin them, like so. Boom. <laughs> Lump of fruit. That's what the uh, fruit is called. If you get uh, 100 of it, it will add to a new life. And as you see, we just got a second object off the next. And that allows us uh, to take two hits extra. And when you hit three, you're invincible for a while. And they actually set it up so that way if you uh, do well, uh, you will actually get invincibility in the spheres of stuff. So the C here is a checkpoint box. Uh, you hit it. If you die, you start here again. And so here's a... And uh, I'm trying to jump into it so I land on the thing. There we go. Oh, nope. Did not land. So you're invincible. So you can just walk and smack the guys like so. And you hit it. And there's that box there. That is one of the ones that is really hard to find. And so you have two different ways you can go. I go to the left first. Because I find it easiest. Because right is the hardest one to do. Okay, so that's it. On the left side. And I'm surprised that they even put the right side in the first level. Because the right side is one of the hardest things to do. It, in this game. So, you jump past this uh, thing, and as you can see, there's outlines of boxes. You hit this metal exclamation point, and they make boxes for you. And this is one of the hardest things to do. You have to destroy all the boxes. Oh, and I see I died. So, now I'm not going to be able to get the gym, so I have to go back to the map and redo this entire level. Ah. <laughs> oh. That is why it's one of the hardest things to do. Because it is so easy to die. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. There's Aku again. And so I'm going to plan to 100% tool this. So. Come on, come on, there. 
destroyed a bunch of boxes with the crab. And this, this is one of the uh, first PS1 games that I ever owned, and it's just great fun. And this is uh, not downloaded on my PS3. I actually have hard copy of this, and it still works. And this game was made back in 96, so this game is 16 years old. And it's younger than me, but not by much, because I'm only 20 by the time that you guys are seeing this. And 16, I was four when this game came out, four or five. And this game is just great. I mean, the graphics at the time were wonderful. And it had so many different worlds and different aspects of what you should do. Alright, so, that stupid bridge again. Alright. Ah, oh, fuck! Mmm. Because I thought I missed the last one, so I pressed the back button some. There we go. Alright, and so... Bam, this is what happens if you get it. So he'll jump up, he'll go, yeah! Well, he won't go, yeah, but... And then it will say it's perfect, and it will show you the demo yet, yeah, and tra la la You have 1% complete with the game already. So, I am going to... Oh, yeah, so I forgot that I have uh, save files here. Uh, so I'm going to delete the 48% yeah. And I'll go to the memory card later in the game and uh, delete that. So the only time you can save is after you get a gem. So, yeah. so we got jungle rollers. So let's go there. So oh look at that we have an, we have our first TNT box. So you jump on it and you get a three second countdown. And then it explodes. <laughs> Another one. Another invincibility. Gotta love it. <laughs> okay, so that there is the uh, bonus uh, um, bonus card. You have to collect all three of them in a level in order to get to the bonus stage. And the bonus stages are sometimes fairly easy, sometimes difficult. You don't need to collect every box in the bonus stage in order to get the gem. But as you can see, there's a color gem that's increasing and shrinking as I go away. You have to have the color gem in order to go to a secret area. So that secret area has some boxes, so we're not going to be able to get the uh, gem in this level right now. We'll get it later, though. And here's a tricky part. So, bam. That takes skill right there. 
Ooh. And there's the light. So as you can see, wow, we have 12 lives. It's amazing. And we've only died twice. And tra-la-la, -la, there's the bonus stage. Bonus round, bonus stage. It's really the same thing. So you don't need to collect every box in here. But this allows you to save as well. Either getting a gem or a bonus stage allows you to save. And it's really important because you can't save anywhere else. And there we go, free life. And this shows you how far in the game you are. So 3% complete we are. And it's only the first video. So this shows you the entire thing. Uh, one out of the 32 levels we've completed, zero out of two keys, and one out of 26. And so you can see the password, and that will put you right back where uh, this is. And memory card will allow you to save. I have probably beaten this game 100% about three times. So three, four, maybe five. It hasn't been much, because... Usually when I 100% something, I don't play it again, but I wanted to first. I wanted to play this game again, because it's amazing. And so now we have two Piranha Plants, and boom. So as you can, so we don't get the gem. So this is another thing that happens if you don't die. You'll either get the gem, or it will give you a grate, and it will tell you how many boxes you missed. And so you don't get to save. So that's going to be it for this uh video i'm going to show you the, the uh, two levels and uh how to do things and i hope you guys have enjoyed and we will go through this game together and 100 percent it that we see how it is done so i thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys next time